The other thing that contributes to subluxation is toxins. And it's only recently become a, re a regular conversation or a topic of conversation in today's world. We have the GMOs, we have Monsanto with Roundup on so many products that causes leaking gut, um, the pollution in the air that we breathe every day. Whatever we're taking into our body, our body has to process, it has to deal with, and it has to assimilate into our body. So it can toxins can cause things like inflammation, uh, which lead to things like autoimmune disorders, um, and basic dis-ease and disharmony in the body, and dysfunctions. There's a lot of threats to kids these days. There's a lot of toxins um, and I talk about this all the time. It's starting from when mom is pregnant, even before she got pregnant. She maybe wasn't eating the high quality foods that she needed. She wasn't taking vitamins or she was using products that had a lot of toxins. And then she conceives and she's using that same stuff during pregnancy. Maybe she's a little bit better, you know, but still then they go through the birth process where you're pumped full of medication and antibiotics. Um, and then they come out and babies are given all this stuff at birth that maybe they don't need right away. And so when you're giving a little body foreign stuff, they really can't, you know, function optimally. If you just let them be and you give them what they need, you know, breast milk and being with their mom right away, they usually will do much better and have a healthy start to life.